What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Oaks TV. It's break time. Not really break time because we just got started, but we're going to put some brakes on the old dirty bus. Uh, we just got back from the trip. Well, I did. He didn't go because his bus is in the shop still. Uh, we got back from Big Bend and my brakes suck. Drum brakes, horrible. I got my new big tires on. I kept the 14 inch wheels. I was going to put on these huge, giant Porsche brakes that I rebuilt uh, in a previous video. Hit that link. And uh, I found out that I'd have to put 15 inch rims, which means I'd have to go to a bigger size tire. And they push them out and it's gonna rub and it's gonna be a nightmare. I just can't do it. So check your local Craigslist because these will be for sale soon. <laughs> uh, instead, our pals over at SoCal Imports sent me the AC Industries 14 inch zero, what do they call it? Zero offset. It's a zero offset, but it's like a no hassle disc brake kit. So this is the same kit that uh, Sean has on his 70 Bay. 70 Bay, yeah. Just put that on. And uh, that's the one that was making the little right. noise that we had to fix. And we fixed it for like a $9 part yeah. or like a tool. Yeah, one tool. In like it's 10 easy. minutes, right? <laughs> super, super easy. Super easy. This brakes work great. Right <laughs> yeah, super tight, super right. sharp. So this is the same kit, I think, virtually the same kit. They say it's different, but it looks the same to me. They send you everything you need. Uh, it comes with brackets, the brake lines, the dual circuit master cylinder, the Volvo reservoir that actually fits and still you can get to it from the cover and the floor. All new hardware, calipers, pads, the wide five rotors with the uh, vented, or yeah, vented but not slotted and not drilled. They give you new studs, they give you the correct lug nuts. Uh, everything. It's full proof. Yeah, I mean, it's just a bolted on and drive away kind of kit. So, I've done a bunch of those and it seems pretty easy. I hope that this is just as easy. Everything on that bus comes off so far without too much trouble. So, we'll find out. I got some PB <laughs> blaster and I got some tools and I got the uh, DeWalt impact if we really run into some trouble. I think we're going to be okay. So, Sean's gonna help me because I'm still sort of recovering and I think I blew out my MCL on my knee somehow. Uh, so I got a bad back and a bad knee and, and just all around not having a good time. So he's gonna do the work and get dirty and I'm just gonna play with the camera. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first we need to knock the dust cover off for the rubber mallet. Those are nasty. Next we got to remove the spindle nuts. The driver's side is backwards so pay attention. Uh, it's lefty, tighty, righty, loosey. Now we got to remove the drum and the little spacer there. Don't worry about that bearing. Remove the keeper for the brake lines but don't lose it. You're going to need it later. So carefully separate the brake line from the hose. Sometimes they're stuck so take your time. Use some PB blaster or something. Just don't break it. Pull the four backing plate bolts off. The kit came with new ones, so put these in a bag and save them for later. Now we want to clean the spindle and check for damage. Make sure the threads are clean and straight. Make sure there's no galling or damage to the smooth part where the bearings ride. Uh, just make sure overall everything is good and clean and uh, you know, not messed up. Now we get to get dirty. Time to grease the bearings. I want to get some grease right through from the bottom all the way till it comes out of the top here. And the way that you do that is you put a big old blob of grease on your palm and you scrape the bearing across the grease and use your palm to sort of push it into that little gap. If you're doing it right, it's coming out the top right here. Just go all the way around, get the whole thing nice and goopy. Make sure there's grease everywhere. You don't want any dry spots. This is the inner race of the bearing. I had these pressed before they were shipped and the bearing will just drop right in there. Now we got to seat the rear seal with the press. Uh, you got to make sure it goes in perfectly flat. Uh, there might be a little bit of a lip when you're done but that's okay. Put a little bit of anti-seize on the hardware for the uh, caliper and the bracket. 
The bracket goes on with a step towards the beam. This is what holds the caliper in place and provides that zero offset that you need. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on those studs so they don't fall out while you're driving. If you use red Loctite, you'll never get them out and if they get stripped, you'll have a really bad time. Tighten these down until they're seated and give them a little bit of time to dry up before you put the wheel on just so that Loctite can cure. Clean everything off with some brake cleaner to remove all the oil and the grease from the disc that they put together on shipping. The bearing drops right in the top there. I probably should have painted mine because these things tend to rust pretty good. Um, you should probably paint yours before you put it on the bus. I ended up going back and painting mine later. Break time! Actual break time! So we got some pizza and some beverages. And Sean's sitting in a chair. <laughs> we made a mess. Hey. And the bus is apart. But we'll get back to it in a minute. Have you been home yet? All right, attach the new brake hose to the brake line. Make sure you tighten all the connections on there and don't break that brake line. Here's that little clip I told you not to lose earlier. Uh, slide the rotor onto the spindle, put on the little spacer washer, and put your spindle nuts on there. Don't forget these turn backwards on the driver's side so it's lefty tighty. Uh, tighten that first one up until it seats everything on there. Then you have that little flappy washer, and then you have the second one uh, that goes on. I uh, just want that rotor to just turn when you spin it. A little bit of drag is okay. And then uh, flatten down these in two different directions. One goes backwards and one goes forwards. That keeps those nuts on. Take this little guy, toss it in the trash. You don't need it. It's just to keep those pads in there for shipping. We don't even need it. Slide that uh, caliper over the disc and line up the holes on the back so you can put your hardware in there. Might take a little jiggling. These are the two bolts that you want to tighten down that holds the caliper on. And don't forget to attach your brake line and put your speedo cable through the spindle. And you should look like this. I had a little interference between my studs and my caliper. Uh, so I had to slide the caliper back out and knock them down with a file just so they weren't hitting anymore. It's important to paint the parts that you file off so they don't rust. Hey Jason. Hey buddy. How's it going? It's going man. We're, uh, we're doing the brakes on the bus. And I'm um, having some issues with the master cylinder being so much different and the instructions are terrible. Oh, and you're, uh, doing the, you're doing the AC Industries disc brake kit? That's what you're doing? Yeah, the one from SoCal, <laughs> the one from SoCal Imports. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know the one, you're familiar with it. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm trying to hook up these brake lines and I'm confused because I have three and they're in a different place. and. Nobody really has a good video, and yours was pretty good, but I just want to make sure I got this right. Yeah, so uh, let me get under there, under mine, just to make sure, so I, I can see exactly how we did it. Okay. Okay, so it looks like you hook up both the front discs, both the front wheels, to the rear part of the, um, of the master cylinder, so they're kind of both at that back end facing each other, pointing at each other. Okay. And then the, you take that rear one and you put that to the front and that's going to face, that's going to be opposite to your brake switch, your tail light switch. Okay. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. And then I don't have to uh, put the spacer for the cylinder, I guess it all just kind of works as it works, huh? Yeah, there's no cylinder, there's no spacer needed in this kit. I know that that's, uh, that's always something you needed to source up, you know, before, before they came out with this kit. That was something that you had to source, but with this one, there's no spacer. 
Okay, well, awesome, man. Thanks for the help. And uh, hopefully we get this thing done soon. It's getting cold out here. Not really. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it when you're done with it. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. Yeah, good luck. All right, talk to you later. Later. That was Matt Jackson from VW Life. I'll throw a link to their video somewhere. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, but he just did this kit on here, so... Uh, okay, I guess I'm ready to get some brake fluid in my eyes. Let's, uh, let's get this master cylinder done. Alright, take the old master cylinder out and attach the lines to the new master cylinder, just like Matt just said. There's also a drawing that comes with the kit. Uh, we don't need this one, so we can chuck it or you can save it for a rebuild later. Alright, gang. So after waiting what seemed like an eternity uh, to get my brake leader replacement, I finally came in today. I got the fancy, super high-tech, ultra-futuristic V5 brake bleeder. Uh, this is actually a reverse brake bleeder. So what this does, instead of hooking up, you know, filling your reservoir full of fluid and having your kids sit there and pump it and hold it and you gotta squirt it out and catch it and all that garbage. No more, man. This is a one-person bleeder. This hooks up to the bottle. You run it through the caliper, it runs everything back up into the reservoir, and then you suck all the out of the reservoir, and you just do the next wheel and do the next wheel. It bleeds everything from the back forward, uh, or from the bottom up, rather. Super great. Uh, I'll throw a link for this down below. I saw this on TV, and I thought, eh, let's give it a try. It was like 50 bucks or something. Uh, but if it works the way they say it does, totally worth it. Then I don't have to find someone to pump those brakes for me. So I'm gonna put the camera down low, I'll show you how it works. We'll take it for a test drive. End of the day. Let's go. All right, we're gonna suck a little bit of fluid out of the reservoir to make room for the new fluid that we're gonna push in from the caliper. I'm just putting that into an old bottle. Then you hook up your, just like you're normally bleeding the brakes, and then uh, we've got our new fluid going in. You crack the bleeder. You uh, squeeze that thing and fill it until you don't hear any bubbles coming out. You want to start at the furthest wheel away from the master and then end up on the driver's front, which is the closest. All right, got the uh, fronts done, got the rears done, got my lug nuts tight. Let's uh, take her for a ride. a little bit cold I ain't give it a good warm up. Oh, gotta make an adjustment I think. Ooh, feels really really good though. I've got a, it sounds like I got a lug nut rubbing against the caliper. Uh, which I knew was gonna happen when I did it. to adjust it out but it sounds like there's still one touching in there that's okay we're just testing it right now oh man that pedal is like oh, reverse that pedal's never been that high it feels really really good actually like amazing oh man Compared to what I had before, which was no brakes, this is really, really good. I've got other issues now, but I can stop. I'm very confident. It feels really good. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So get you this uh, AC Industries No Hassle Bus Disc Brake Kit. Uh, for your bus. You can get those from SoCal Imports. That's where I got mine. Check that link down below. Uh, man, that, that wheel stud's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to take those off and grind down the backs a little bit. They just hit the caliper just a tiny bit. I know it'll wear off eventually, but that's not the way to do it. Uh, we gotta, we gotta take care of that. I don't know which side that's on, but Boy, that pedal's amazing. Oh, boy. Ooh. Need to uh, adjust.
adjust my adjust my parking brake also because uh, that's a little loose I got to get back in there and tighten that up but that's another video so for now there you go disc brakes installed on the bus in uh, sort of a day if I would have had that bleeder we would have had it done uh, links below for all the stuff link below for your cool sweatshirts uh, I've actually got one on order because the kid stole mine uh, she likes it so had to order me a new one uh, but the link below for that and uh, check us out on all our social medias Facebook Instagram I don't know we got them they're all they're all down there at the bottom check out all our friends get yourself a Volks America magazine get yourself a Volks mania magazine uh, volksamerica.com or volksmania.com those things are going quick uh, the next Volks America is coming out soon Man, it is a beautiful book. And it's a book, not a magazine. That thing is crazy. So make sure you get up on uh, your copies of those. And thanks for watching.